اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to write a literature review using AnswerThis.io. For this particular session, I have proposed a sample framework where the objective is to assess the antecedent and outcomes of corporate social responsibility. Now, in this particular study, what I have proposed is that I've got ethical leadership influencing corporate social responsibility and corporate social responsibility influencing knowledge management processes and that influencing organizational performance. So I've got knowledge management processes as my mediating variable. Now when we are writing our literature review, the literature review section is actually divided into two subsections. The first step is to assess each variable individually. Now in this assessment, what you are doing is you are discussing each variable and how this variable is defined, how this variable creates an influence for the organization or the business in general or the society. So in the individual discussion, the three key main points are explaining the concept of the variable. What does the variable do for the organization if you are focusing on business and management or maybe if you are focusing on some societal studies, then what does it do for the society? How does it facilitate its effectiveness? Now you have to discuss in general and also in particular to your industry scope. And finally, why studying this particular concept is important in your field of study. Now discuss the general consequence if you have a predictor variable. So if you are discussing ethical leadership, you discuss in general that how and why this particular concept is important in your area and what are the general consequences. Now, if it's a criterion variable, why studying the antecedents are important in your area of study. Now, we will start with the individual or independent discussion on variables. Now, for instance, let me take my central variable that is corporate social responsibility and let me use answer this dot io to find these details so once you visit answer this dot io you can do literature review you can search for papers you can generate citation maps and there are other tools as well but for this particular session i'm going to focus on just generating the literature review so let's say if i write the query how is corporate social responsibility defined and it's to pro literature review and I'm just focusing on papers here and we click this icon now it may take some time to generate your results now here are our results. Now here are the research papers and what I'm interested in right now is this. So you've got an answer to your query. Here is an introduction. Here are your references. Now the persistent challenge of definition. Now if you are writing a thesis and you are discussing the evolution of a concept, now this can be really important. Then there are different approaches and then there are different ways in which the concept is defined. It is defined based on the stakeholder perspective, then the environmental and social perspective. And there is a political dimension of CSR as well. Now some research gaps, you can have a look at these as well. Now here are the papers that have been used. Now you can refine the citation as well. Let's say if you go for Howard style. So here is the Howard style and if you go here now you've got papers here 
in Howard style in text references. Now there are PDFs available that you can use and look into. So this is how you can use answerthis.io just for assessing and finding out the definition of a concept. Now you can ask follow-up questions as well here. So let's say can you let's say provide a specific definition on CSR in business. Let's assume this. While it's processing, look at this here. You can have it in the form of a document, a markdown in R. You can just simply copy the results and you can have it in a PDF as well. You can edit it with AI as well or you can share it as well. Now here are different definitions. The management philosophy in definition. And then we've got the analytical theory based definition from a formal analytical perspective, CSR is defined, defined through its conceptual meaning which follows the managerial position, positioning in its environment, seeking to maximize profitability directly reflecting on the society that surrounds it with the human factor as the final process. Now again, you've got a definition, then there is Islamic business ethics a definition and then there are definitional elements as well. Now moving on, let's say we go to a new query. And let's say we ask this question here. I'm going to reframe the question slightly. How does the corporate social responsibility help the organizations? Let's say you can ask this this in another query. And no internet and you can ask. Now here are our results. It's always a good idea to first read the results and then properly edit it with an and with an understanding as to how these results can help you in achieving your objectives and solving the problem that you are addressing. Moving on, let's look at the next part of our literature review, which is hypothesis development, whereby you establish the relationship between variables. In this case, let's say if we focus on corporate social responsibility and knowledge management, so the first thing is, have there been any studies linking the two concepts? So for example, let me write in, is there any research that links corporate social responsibility with knowledge management? Again, let's go do a thorough research, literature review, no internet, and we can start. Now here are the results. Now I am interested in the direct links between CSR and knowledge management. And once you study this, for example, the research demonstrates that CSR and KM partially mediate the relationship between green intellectual capital and green innovation performance. So this is the study that you can look into and see how this study focuses on the relationship between CSR and knowledge management. Similarly, you can look into other studies as well. So now you don't have to search for every research paper in the different databases. This is a very, very good starting point to find the relevant literature. Now similarly, let's do another one. Now let's say we use the theory, like what theory can be used to develop the relationship between CSR and knowledge management. Now, these details will be shared in the description so that you can create your own queries based on these descriptions. 
what theory can be used to develop the relationship between corporate social responsibility and knowledge management now here instead of just knowledge management you can use different processes like creation distribution storage moving on let's do the literature review and let's do a pro one no internet and let's start now here are the results so you can use resource based theory and its extension now in this case the extension is knowledge based view again read through this particular literature and find how you can develop those arguments now you can use dynamic capabilities of framework as well or there is absorptive capacity theory now absorptive capacity theory while not explicitly featured in many csr km studies emerges as a critical theoretical component now this is very important you are adding a new perspective you are adding a new theory now this can help you in your theoretical implications or study contributions as well then you can use stakeholder theory now go through these theories you may need to ask some follow-up questions as well or you can ask which existing research or what theory has been primarily focused in existing research or what theory has not been used to explain but it certainly can explain the relationship so this is how you can use answer this.io to develop and identify critical information that can later help you propose your critical literature review both the individual discussion and developing and formulating your hypothesis now here on the right side of the screen you can have these papers some of them will have the pdf available while some others you will have to search on your own in your databases that you have access to now again i i hope this small session would have helped you understand the use of answer this dot io we have more sessions coming on this concept as well. Thank you very much.